We are leaving Disney's boardwalk. And we are now here at Universal Studios for early admission. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to your daily dose. It is 6.40 in the morning, about 20 minutes before Universal Studios opens up for one hour for early admission for annual pass holders and people who stay at a Universal hotel. It's freezing out right now. It's currently 52 degrees out. Go ahead and uh, smash that thumbs up button before. Right now, I've actually never been here before this early in the morning. We're actually catching the sunrise right now at the moment. Today, I really wanna build a wand for the first time in Ollivander's in Diagon Alley. I've never built a wand before, we're gonna do that. Go on as much as possible, maybe before that, because you actually have to reserve a reservation for a wand now. Kinda wanna film that process to show you because it's different, but what do you say? Let's go on and have some fun. We're here an hour early. It's cold out. Should be fun. Looks like they're letting in about 15 minutes early. So we're going in at 6.45 in the morning here. That's a good kickstart to Easter weekend. Happy Easter weekend at that. Don't really know what's all gonna be open because this is actually my first time at Universal Studios for the early admission. I'm actually gonna head straight to uh, Diagon Alley to see if I can actually put that reservation in for uh, Ollivander's for my wand. I wanted to get that wand so bad today. That is probably the lowest wait I'm ever gonna see for the Minion Mayhem, 10 minutes. 10 minutes here in the morning. If you're wondering how early I got up to get here, I got up about 5 a.m., got in the parking lot at like 6.15. So to do this, this early admission, if you're not staying at one of the hotels, you do have to get up pretty darn spanking early but it's worth it. Looks like they're doing a check for uh, to make sure you are a hotel guest and uh, have one of the annual passes to let in for early reservation, or admission, sorry. It's early, I'm tired. Um, if you're wondering why I love to do this, A, I love being one of the first in a theme park, and B, I love getting on rides super duper quick, getting done with the park super fast. I love it, because then you have time to do whatever you want after. And we have made it to King's Crossing, about to enter Diagon Alley. My fingers are frozen, they're falling off this camera if you're wondering, it's really cold. However, we do have a beautiful sunrise. Not sunset, sunrise. Haven't seen that in a theme park in a long, long time. Good morning, Diagon Alley. Hello, hello. We're gonna get our wands up here. Looks like there's actually already a line. Oh, they're gonna actually redirect us this way. Morning. Now, I'm not sure how this process worked. Like I said, I've never gotten a wand before, but I am very, very excited. I can pretty much quote the Harry Potter movies. Little known fact probably about me. I'm a huge, huge Harry Potter fan. So I'm excited to uh, see how to get this wand today. Usually I think you need a reservation. So we're actually gonna be in the standby queue. They don't start reservations till 8 a.m. So if you get here for early park admission, it's just gonna be a standby line. And then at 8, they're gonna start the reservations for throughout the day if you wanna get your wand. Cause obviously this is a very highly, um, everybody wants to build a wand. So uh, if you want to get your reservation first thing in the morning, and you have to get a reservation in the park. You can't get it online at all like Disney. Some little advice real quick. If you guys plan on being here throughout the whole day, I would uh, use this early park admission for going on rides and attractions. And then at eight o'clock, come on over here for a reservation for a little bit later. That's what I would do. But obviously I'm not gonna be in the park all day. So I'm here using this one hour of park early admission to uh, get my wand and then I'll go on some attractions. All right, we finally made it to the front of the line. I stepped out of line just to tell you guys this. It is going to be a 10 minute show. I waited about about 50 minutes and there's still like gonna be a 20 minute wait because it, there's like two parties in front of me and after each show, they do a 10 minute or they do a clean of the whole entire showroom. So that's why it's gonna be a very, very long wait for you guys to get your wand here at Ollivander's. But we'll see if it's worth it and um, let's go check it out. Going on in here for the very first time. Here is, oh my gosh, look at all those wands. Wow, oh wow, what a wait. It's taken us about an hour now to get inside. Let's go experience this. We're gonna have our own private room and she's gonna help us. Hello, 
Good morning. Thanks for waiting for me. We're just gonna wait on here. I guess we're gonna call it the the wand room because obviously there's so many wands in here. And um, we're gonna then we're gonna go into like the show room. I don't really know too much about it, so we're all gonna experience it. Maybe for the first time ever. It's definitely it's my first time. Oh wow. Welcome, welcome to all the pandas, makers of fine wands since 382 BC. I am the wand keeper, and your name is Kyle. Kyle? Yes. Kyle, stand on that spot right there for me. Now, Kyle, which is your wand arm, right? Right. Very good. Step forward, pick up your wand, focus on the tip of your wand. I want you to illuminate the tip by okay. saying Lumos. Lumos. <laughs> Nope, not that one. Not the right one. For okay, you, put that right there. Wingardium Leviosa. Nope. <laughs> A wand of birch. I think this is the one. That was uh, quite the experience. So you can actually choose to uh, get this wand or I believe a different wand, whatever you really want. I believe that's kind of, that's how it goes, that's how it goes, awesome. I don't even know what it looks like, so let's take a look real quick. Here is the wand that shows me. I have no idea if this is like somebody's special wand in the Harry Potter world. I have no idea. Should I get this? I think I should get the one that chose me, right? You know, for the first one. And we are done. The whole experience took about an hour and 15 minutes. Um, I didn't know that you can actually just walk into the shop and actually purchase, but I did want to do the experience for the first time ever. There's 13 wands that you can actually be gifted. You don't have to buy the one that they give you. You can always buy the other options. I think there's a total of 26 wands. So. Uh, Kind of cool that we got to experience that for the very first time, at least I did. Don't know about you. Yeah, we have a brand new wand on my very first wand. I'm gonna take some pictures, maybe do some magic around here. You can do magic with your wand. I probably won't. I might want to go on Green Goss because I want to see how long that line is already at 8.16 in the morning. Gringotts is up to a 30 minute wait already. I've seen it at a 10, at a 20. Now it's at a 30 minute wait. Oh, and by the way, now it's reservation only. And I heard the reservations for the wands usually will go, will be gone in less than an hour. Right here is gonna be the line for the reservations throughout the day. It's kind of like Giddings, you know, you have to get a reservation, a wait time to come on back, and then you can do the whole experience when it's your time. But they will be gone less than an hour, and it opens at eight for those reservations. Standby is from seven to eight, and then reservations open at eight o'clock. As far as the whole Ollivander's experience goes, I mean, I don't really think it's worth an hour wait. It was cool. However, I, I could have just gone and simply bought one, and now I have probably a, some very large wait times for a ride. So it's kind of a horse to be. So you want to do the experience, do it, but know that once you do it, it's probably going to take about an hour. We're going to go on Gringotts. I want to see if it actually is a 30-minute wait. Let's go check it out. We have to go to the lockers to store our stuff. Which is right to the right of the entrance. Holy cow, this line is so long. I think it's gonna be more than 30 minutes. Cause I've actually never, oh my gosh. Holy cow. And this line is so long, the queue inside. Well, I guess it's gonna be good to test this out. It's 822. Wow. Oh my gosh. I uh, just asked the team member that they thankfully had in line and he said it just went up to an hour and a half wait. We're not gonna wait an hour and a half. I just don't wanna wait an hour and a half. That's a long time. When it's these holiday weekends or just basically holiday weeks, I don't really expect to ride too much simply because I know the wait times are gonna be crazy, crazy high. As we're already seeing with Gringotts at 8.30 in the morning, 30 minutes when they let everybody else into the park. It's gonna be a madhouse today and there's so many people already here. 
Let's go, let's go see what else is there. Just in store with these crowds. That was without a doubt the longest I've ever spent in Diagon Alley ever before. An hour and a half. I honestly still can't believe though it took over an hour to get this wand here. Kind of crazy to say the least. I could ride Transformers. Let me just go see what that weight is. Hopefully not too long. My gut says a 30. Yup, we've got a lovely 35 minute wait already. Ah oh, man, today is just gonna be a, I guess a non-ride day. I do wanna stay at a Universal Hotel very soon because if you stay at, I believe, one of the like, most expensive hotels, you get an Express Pass. I wanna try that out. I wanna, you know, cause Express Pass, you can skip the lines. And I love skipping the lines. That's why I come here in the morning after all. But these 35 minute waits, it's not cutting it. Last time we couldn't get a uh, boarding group or a virtual queue for uh, the Jimmy Fallon ride. And I haven't been on this ride in years. Let's see if it's working today or if they'll let me just come on. It looks open. Let me go ask. I really want to ride it. I know it's not popular, but I, I, I haven't been on in years. There's actually no virtual queue at the moment. I think they're opening up a little bit later. It's just standby. And I heard it's a walk on, so that's what we're doing. Hello. Here's what the queue looks like as you're going on up. Tells you a little bit about the Tonight Show and the, the history. This ride is hosted by Jimmy Fallon. And they give you this, this little pass. I don't really know what it's for. We'll have to wait and see. What's up, Jimmy? Last time I've been on this, I think was in 2017 with my family. Who's actually coming? April, April 12th. My family will be here for about a week. Exciting about that. Super duper excited. Uh, we are like in the waiting room area and they'll call your color, I think that's what's going on. I think that's what's going on. You'll know when your color gets um, called when the whole room turns to your color. <laughs> that's a cool way to do it, honestly. It is our time. We are purple. I just won. Thank you. Thank you. In both sides should be. Oh, cool. Let's go to the right then. I'm just happy we get to go on one attraction because it's so busy here today. I totally forgot, but here at Universal they give you like hand sanitizer before like every attraction, and it's such a weird consistency. Don't like it at all. It's like super thick. Ten to ten out of fan. Check. Mike, check. Mike, check. One, two, one, two. Hello? Hello? really kind of enjoy that ride but definitely not a ride you should wait over an hour for it's not bad it's kind of fun here's a look at uh, everyone coming on in pretty nice stream a lot of people coming in I mean it is crowded but not as crowded as I thought it would be I mean Shrek 4d's <laughs> wait time is a hundred minutes that is just absurd what is Minion? Minion's at 60. It was a walk-on when we got here in the morning. Now it's at 60. We are gonna head on out and go to the Universal store at CityWalk, the brand new store which opened two days ago. There's not really much for us to do here today simply because it is 
very packed and it's just gonna get even worse as the day prolongs on. And here we are, the Universal Studios store. Now open, let's go on in. It's gonna be my first look and maybe your first look too because it literally did just open. Very, very clean, wow. It reminds me kind of like the world of Disney in a way, just because like this is like a very clean look. Got ornaments. I'm not really interested in all the products at the moment. I just want to show you kind of what it looks like inside the store here. You can get golf balls. It's a very clean look for sure. You know, this feels like modern. It smells new, <laughs> that is for sure. It's got a Simpsons section. You can get your masks right on over here. Eight dollars, three for 20, not bad. Got pins. Oh, we package pickup. Interesting. It's not that big of a store, honestly. All right. There was your first look at the Universal store. Very nice, very nice. Cool, cool. Oh my gosh. Take a look at all these people coming on in. Wow, oh wow. Definitely no shortage of people piling on in to Universal on Easter weekend. I walked over here to Islands of Adventure to go to Harry Potter Hogsmeade just to get an Instagram picture. I posted on my Instagram if any of you were here and uh, one of you replied because I want someone to take my picture for me and thankfully one of you guys were here today. We're gonna get an Instagram picture. Love that. It's sort of kind of like I'm never alone in the parks. I always have one of you. This is just as crazy as the other day. Wow, oh wow. I actually think this is more packed. Jordana, thank you so much for of taking course. my Instagram picture. That was awesome. Yay. Sweet. Thank you. The amount of people still flooding on in to uh, Universal is kind of astonishing. That is it for your daily dose here today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Quick shout out to uh, Tim B over on my Patreon. Thank you so, so much. Got to do a lot. Got my very first wand. Saw the Universal Store, which literally just opened yesterday for the very first time. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll be back soon. Disney World is pretty much at capacity on this Easter weekend, so I couldn't get a pass, unfortunately. But we'll be back at the Magic Kingdom, I believe, on Monday. Don't really know what I'm doing this weekend, so if you guys have any ideas, feel free to uh, post down below, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. See you later.